hypothetical situation, uh, schools are going to remain remote learning next school year. Um, how, how does how does that change the game for you and uh, um, address some of these issues that you're seeing now? Well, one thing is I don't think you can ever uh, replace in-person learning with a human because it's one of those deals where when you know someone cares, you're going to go above and beyond when you know that person and you need that human element. So there is no way that in my mind, remote learning in place uh, replaces in-person learning, that the in-person learning is uh, critical to a child's development. That being said, and what you said with the governor, I kind of, I'm an internal optimist. I, I hope that somebody's going to come up with, I, I think that there will be a therapeutic at some point. There's a lot of money being invested in this right now, and a lot of people smarter than I ever hope to be researching this, and hopefully that would change. Also, I would say right now that we're in a time that days are weeks, weeks are months, and months are years. So that's years away. That being said, we do have to make alternative type of plans and just some, having some discussions. What does that look like? Um, I know when I first started here 20 years ago, we kindergarten used to be all day every other day. So do certain folks come all day every other day and their, their opposite day is remote? Because uh, he did reference a blended model possibly. Is that blended model that kids that maybe have health issues or connectivity issues have a different schedule than someone else so that you can meet their needs? You know, like if I have connectivity, I come to the school if I have those types of issues. But if I have the ability to do remote learning at home, I don't come in as much. Uh, I think that, you know, there will be a lot of discussions. And I think it's uh, I, right before this Zoom meeting I was on with other county superintendents think it's invaluable right now that we meet weekly through Zoom to hear other people's thoughts, what their districts are doing. Um, you, you hear things that maybe you haven't considered yet that you're like, oh yeah, I need to consider that. Um, it definitely is changing at a moment's notice. So um, we are making some alternative thoughts, like to start some discussions. You know, I think you're going to start to have schools probably discuss, should I start after Labor Day uh, to give it a little bit more time? I think you're going to have people explore a lot of different things. But like I said, I do think right now that uh, months are years away with the way things continue to evolve and as we learn more. You mentioned the, uh, the idea of the blended model. Um, and just from what you said, it sounds like there's quite a number of variables that would go into designing a model like that. How feasible is that? And um, what kind of an undertaking would it take to execute that? That's a large undertaking because beyond learning, you got busing and food and uh, union contracts and, uh, you know, how districts run and they're very different. So I think that that is quite an undertaking. I do think one of the positives out of this is when we talk about a blended model. I think you'll see things like uh, some flexibility in days. I'm not saying in the near future, but down the road. I know uh, Dr. Acton and the governor keep mentioning like telehealth and remote learning. Uh, some things that are going to be tweaked. I mean, whether it means like snow days become virtual days, like if you don't come in session, whether it maybe is uh, some days students have where staff comes in and students still learn virtually through some of the things that are provided to them. I think also some of the activities we now do outside of our classrooms may change where we extend the schoolhouse walls to uh, families' homes and some of the activities we ask students to do where teachers maybe their homework is front loaded and they come in and start something with the teacher present where they're getting that outside of the room. So I do think there are some positives, but back to your specific question, I think it is a large undertaking with many variables and it's going to take a lot of planning and communication and guidance from a lot of stakeholders to make that um, most successful for students. For over a century, Farmers National Bank has stood strong. Through booms and busts, peaks and valleys, we've learned to know the seasons and how to grow in each of them. During challenging times, everyone is reminded of the value of solid relationships in both life and business. Farmers, stand strong.